Hey, this is Mark from BoatsAndBikes.com, and today we get to take a look at Dagger's Little Ocean Play Toy, the Alchemy 14. Now, we usually test boats that are a little bit longer, 16, 17 feet, but several people lately have suggested that a smaller boat is not only adequate for most day paddles for most people, but actually preferable, so I thought I'd check it out. Now, uh, the first thing I noticed is that this boat is way lighter than my big boats, and not really just by a little. This little 14 foot seems strangely light, even for a small boat. And this is an extra small boat. The boat comes in both small and large, and this is the S, or the small version. It also comes in an L version, which adds an inch of width, some foot length, and some deck height, so the capacity goes up, but it's already a 275 pound capacity. So, it seems like it's plenty for me. Now, as you look it over, it seems to scale up more like a full-blown tour. So, let's consider the stats. 14 feet long, 23 inches wide, 275 pound capacity, small 13 inch deck height, 35 inch cockpit length, 18 and a half inch wide, 51 pounds. Now, the boat has a small bow hatch and a day hatch and a full-size stern hatch with bulkheading in between. It also uses the Dagger and Wilderness Perception uh, adjustable seating systems, which is really quite good. Um, it has an adjustable back band, adjustable uh, support under the thigh, and cloth-covered thigh braces. So most anyone can get a good fit. That is, if you can get into this little boat in the first place. Um, now, up in the bow, it uses adjustable keeper's foot braces that you can adjust while you're seated uh, in the boat itself. Now, let's uh, let's pull out of here. We'll flip this beast over. And what you'll see is that the hull is a semi-hard shine Swede form hull, which uh, in theory should allow for edging and maneuverability, um, especially with a shorter package like this one. But the semi-hard uh, shines should also help with stability. So it's got a nice flat surface to keep it stable. Put it up on edge, it should turn beautifully. Now for a short boat, this also has a surprising amount of rocker, or that banana-shaped curve from bow to stern. When you increase rocker, it's going to give a boat more maneuverability and a little bit of fore and aft stability in rougher water. So the whole shape, if you look at it, it seems to be about whippiness and handling, but it does have this drop skeg with a cockpit slider, and that should help with directional stability when you want to go straight uh, and not use the side-to-side -side performance. All right, let's hop in this beast and launch this craft. Now, before we get in, I'm 5'9", about 170 pounds. Uh, I also have about size uh, 10 and a half slippers. So at my size, Dagger would definitely recommend the bigger alchemy, the L. But I personally prefer a little more intimate paddling experience. I, I kind of like a small cockpit. And I thought I wanted to try the sleeker 22-inch beam instead of the portlier 23 inches. Um, so those were two factors for paddling the S. The third factor is that we happen to have an S, and we didn't happen to have an L, so I figured I'd give the boat a test. In any case, um, I found that the fit was actually fine. Um, it's definitely intimate, but I really had no problem getting in, uh, getting stretched, getting fitted, getting comfortable. Um, the biggest hindrance really is that 13-inch, that low foredeck. So uh, I had to kind of slide in straight-legged instead of dropping my bum in first uh, and then squishing my legs down in, which is my preferred way to uh, get into a boat. You can do a wet entry that way. But the L would really have no such problems, and I think a smaller person would see the same thing, really no problem getting in and out of the boat. But um, as soon as I got this thing waterborne, a few things became immediately apparent. First, this is an incredibly maneuverable boat. Um, what you find is it's kind of a mixture of the semi-hard shines, that short length, and the rocker all combined to uh, to create a package that, um, you know, it's, it's going to be fun in the surf. It's going to be uh, easy to maneuver or very confident close into the shore. Great boat for rock gardening. Um, would instill some confidence in uh, in rough water, possibly even um, a little white water if you had to run it down river uh, and, and cut through some white water. I think it would be just fine. But... Uh, I am, uh, frankly, a little bit surprised that they didn't make the bow a little bit higher on a player like this. You know, it tends to pearl dive a bit off of waves, and uh, in fact, the little alchemy really felt its size when I took it out in the open ocean. Um, that's when I missed the length and the buoyancy of my big sea kayaks and my big tours. Now, keep in mind, 
I am on the tippy top scale for this boat. Uh, and so it's, it's a little bit of a fat guy in a little coat situation, but it's definitely a wet ride. Um, and uh, I think it's probably a wet riding craft no matter how you slice it, but weighting it down like I did, it was definitely a wet ride. Now, when I drop the skeg, I find that I can build a head of steam, but this is not what I would call a fast boat. Um, certainly not in sea kayak company. Now, it's not terrible, um, but it is terribly fun. So uh, on an all-day tour, this would take more work than, say, a 17-foot Tempest. Um, and in fact, on my timed paddle, the Alchemy 14S ranked with other play-type boats, such as uh, the Anis Akuda or the Romani. But with all that said, keep in mind that the Alchemy rode a bit lower in the water than it will with a 130-pound woman. So the dy dynamics really may be different based on an individual's weight and size. So, who's this boat for? Well, this boat is definitely for someone who wants to play in the surf. Uh, it would be great for someone who wants to uh, uh, paddle around in rocks. Uh, great for a smaller paddler looking for a full-blown sea kayak, but in a scaled-down version. Um, a person who, uh, who might want to do more flat paddling, uh, but needs a smaller storage or a lighter carrying boat, uh, this is a great beginner to intermediate boat that you won't grow out of quickly. Now on the flip side, if you need carrying capacity, if you want to haul a lot of stuff, um, if you're doing more than say an overnight or a weekend, or if you're looking for a boat that's going to have killer straight line speed, I recommend you look elsewhere. Also, if you are a Sasquatch size, don't look at the S, look at the L version. So uh, that's a little bit about the uh, alchemy, the dagger alchemy. Glad we could bring it to you uh, and happy paddling.